What's going on internet? IG here again today with another Linux distro review. Today we're taking a trip down memory lane with Manjaro Linux, the Mate edition. <laughs> Now Manjaro Linux have been around for a little while now. They package quite a few number of desktops and their community has really grown in over the last couple of months since they've been around. They are a fantastic user-friendly approach to Arch Linux, which is a great introduction to those who want to get a little bit more down and dirty with how Linux works. Having said that, it's actually not that difficult to get a grasp of this distribution as far as the way it works and the way you manage it and the way you install software, etc, etc. Just recently they've released, the, or at least the community have released a Mate edition, which is of course the got the Mate desktop on top of it. Mate of course being the fork of GNOME 2 that happened a while back as well. Consequently, it does look like a distribution from yesteryear, which I've actually got to say is pretty nostalgic for me. All the controls along the top here remind us of all of those distributions of a year gone by and it's great to see that if users still want to use this type of desktop then the option is there for them. Now what does Manjaro bring to the table? Well like I've already mentioned Manjaro brings Arch Linux, one of the simplest and most elegant Linux distributions out there, down to the same level that a normal everyday user could manage. The speed and simplicity of Arch but with a lot of GUI tools that the, that the average user has come to expect. They also bundle in all of the codecs and flash that you're going to need to use your computer on an everyday basis. And they really cut out a lot of the setting up that is involved with Arch. It's a simple GUI installer that you use off a live CD and you're up and running. Like I said, they do package a lot of different desktops and this one is Mate or Mate. I'm pretty sure it's Mate, but there will always be contention in the comments section below. It is 1.6.1, which is up to date with the latest that Linux Mint have to offer as Mint do actually push quite a bit into the Mate project as they were the ones that kind of founded it but not entirely. So that means that all of the tools that you get here with this desktop environment are all familiar from yesteryear. Some of them are renamed so that they make sense and they don't overlap with their original GNOME counterparts. Now when it comes to pre-installed applications, of course this really isn't a huge indicator of whether you should use a distribution or not as installing software is very easy, but they do cover their bases. They've got basic Office software with, there with LibreOffice and a dictionary. They've got some interesting cute development tools here, as well as the basic needs that you're going to have for music, movies, and burning discs. It is a relatively bare bones distribution in that it's not going to give you a whole bunch of tweaks and craziness out of the box, but it gives you a really solid base to work off. And because Manjaro is a rolling distribution, you get to stay up to date with the latest Linux kernel and the latest packages. Of course, the GNOME Control Center is also here, a centralized location for all of your personal settings. And again, most of you will be familiar with this if you've used Linux for more than two years. So what do I like about this distribution? Well, first of all, the system resources that it uses are relatively minimal. Also, it has a relatively nice design element going with it. Again, the Mate edition isn't the prettiest one out there, but there are definitely respins out there that do look pretty dang nice. And if I quit everything that I've been doing up to this point, then you can see it's dropped back to about 366 meg of the two gig of RAM that I've assigned to it. And it actually is even lower than when you first boot the distribution as well. So it's very speedy and responsive and will work great with older hardware, especially considering you're getting the latest packages and the latest Linux kernel right here on the desktop. It really makes sense, especially for older hardware to use a slightly lighter desktop environment. Having said all that, it's still fully featured with all of those lovely applets that we used to love having on our task panel. And it really brings everything that, no, that made GNOME 2 famous over the last couple of years. Manjaro has become a fantastic distribution in its own right. It's brought some great tools to the table and it's really made Arch Linux very accessible for the, for the average everyday user. If you're getting bored with the Ubuntu camp, like either Ubuntu or Linux Mint or those sort of new user oriented distributions, then I definitely recommend that you give Manjaro a go because of the fact it gives you all of those out of the box tools to get up and running very quickly, but you still get to enjoy all the perks of Arch. It's lightweight, it's very speedy, it's minimalist, you don't get anything that you don't necessarily necessarily need, but it covers you also when it comes to drivers and fantastic hardware support as well. Their community is growing rapidly, so I definitely recommend that you jump in there and say hello. And just evidenced by the amount of desktops that these guys are pushing out now, it's pretty incredible. Now, if you'd like to know more about Manjaro as a distribution, then definitely go and check out Linux Spatry's channel. He's been doing a great series on Manjaro and all of the individual elements of the distribution that make it unique. So if you'd like to find out more, then definitely head over to his channel. I will throw some links in the description below. 
So that's it from me guys, just a quick distro review this week. We've got big releases coming up from OpenSUSE, Fedora and Ubuntu in the very near future, so I'll be taking a look at those in the very near future. And also I'll be getting around to a series from smaller community contributed distributions that I've been contacted about or that I've heard about uh, throughout the last year as well. So let me know of any small random distributions that you've heard about and you think are pretty special in the comments below and I will look into them as well. Thank you all for watching. Like the video if it helped you out and feel free to click subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis and I will catch you all next week. Peace out ladies and gentlemen.